Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Ted Mitchell and a bike that he has built that is going to be a fundraiser for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Here in Lebanon, it's going to be going on from this weekend all the way through November. You can get some chances on this bike. But let's get a little story about how this all came about. Now, you have built bikes for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund for a while now. But this one here in Lebanon came about kind of because of a Turtle Man connection, right? That's right. I met uh, Turtle Man and Neil down at David Reagan's. I had built him a bike for the Shriners Children's Hospital. And when I met Neil and them, I found out that Courtney, Turtle Man's daughter, had diabetes, type 1 diabetes. So I got a hold of them, and they said they would love for me to build a bike. And that's how it got started. Okay, great. Now tell us a little about this bike that you built. This bike is a 1984 soft tail. It's a one-year-only Harley. The 1984 is the first year of the Evolution motor, first year of the soft tail frame, last year of the four-speed transmission, last year of the chain drive. They changed them in 85, and they was different in 83, so this is a one year only. Okay, fantastic. And it is a Harley, then? It's a Harley. It's licensed to 1984 Harley-Davidson. Fantastic. Now, as we said, this is going to be auctioned off as a fundraiser for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. How can people get some of these tickets, and how much are they? They're uh, ten dollars a piece, or uh, five for sixty, or twenty for a hundred. And you can go online at Turtle Man uh, Diabetes Motorcycle. You can get them online, or we will have them here at Lebanon Days or Ham Days in Lebanon okay. to get the tickets. All right, and it is going to be available for you to view here during Ham Days in Lebanon this weekend. It's actually at the Stillhouse Restaurant, which will be right across from the stage here at Ham Days. And then also, it's going to be working in conjunction with the Marion County Heritage Center. You're going to have some tickets and possibly have this on display up there up until November, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Now, you said it's going to be drawn on November 14th, and that actually has a significance, right? That is not a World Diabetes Day on November 14th. Now, how many of these bikes have you made and raffled off in the past? Well, this makes the fifth one. I've, I've done one for David Reagan, and uh, he raffled it off for Shriners Children's Hospital. I built one for the kids for, with autism, and other than that, just local charities and stuff like that. And we're hoping to raise some really good money for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Thank you very much. And how did you first get involved in doing this? Well, I've been building bikes since the mid-70s. I've always loved motorcycles, always dealt with Harley Davidsons, and I would build bikes for other people. And I had the great honor of meeting Indian Larry, who was uh, one of the greatest bike builders to ever live in 2003. Unfortunately, he died in 2004. So he told me, he said, if you're going to build motorcycles, the bike's got to have a heart and it's got to have a soul. It's got to have a reason for being built. And what he meant by that, you can put $100,000 in a motorcycle. And if it don't connect with nobody or have a heart and soul, it's a $100,000 piece of steel. It don't mean anything. So I took him to heart there, and I took that to heart. Well, actually, the first bike I built after that was dedicated to him. And it was uh, featured in Easy Rider magazine. Uh, I've had several bikes in Easy Rider, Biker, and all the other different Biker magazines. But that was the first one. Indian Larry was the heart and uh, soul of that bike. So this is dedicated to Courtney and all the kids with diabetes and the soul of the bike is all the parents that has to deal with this every day. And we're going to hopefully make a lot of money for the foundation here. Again, it is going to be raffled off on November the 14th. You can get your tickets up till then. One more time on the ticket price. Uh, it's $10 a ticket, five for 60 and 20 for 100. And all the money goes to the JDRF of Kentucky. Okay. Fantastic. So it stays here in Kentucky, and you can go online and get some tickets, or you can go to the Marion County Heritage Center, or if you're going to be around on Ham Days weekend, you can come on over and get some tickets at the Still House and see the bike here, and then up at the Marion County Heritage Center, because it'll be here up until November. Thank you very much. Thank you. This has been Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.